Hall and media day here at Detroit Mercy. Jeremy Addo back alongside the head coach of the men, Mike Davis. Mike, thanks for sitting down. Certainly an exciting day here today, kind of the unofficial start of the season, right? Very excited. I'm, I'm excited for people coming out, and maybe one day we can build up where it's a packed house for our media day, but it's a good group of, uh, of fans and alumni that came out today. You know, something that's noticeable, even you know, at the couple practices that I've attended so far, just the energy level, and you kind of alluded that up there, but these guys are competing hard, knowing you know, what's in front of them, right? We, we are, and like I said, everybody's here. You know, we recruited them here. Uh, nothing against anybody that was here when we got here last year, but these guys understand what we want, and we've had more time to work on it all throughout the summer. Uh, and so right now, you know, the last couple of days has just been crazy from an effort standpoint. Now we have to carry it over uh, into the season. You have a couple more veterans, I guess, coming in this year, some more transfers, and that's something you kind of preach last year. Hey, I want you know guys that have experience. So talk about, I guess, that level and some guys coming back maybe that have a year under their belt now. Well, again, you know, we have uh, four sophomores with Chris and Willie and Bo and Marquise and uh, even Antoine that we would hope to have registered them last year, but they didn't register, so they got a chance to play. And this year they're back with a little more energy, well, a lot more energy than what they had last year, a lot more understanding than what they had last year. And so what they have to do is continue to understand that the level they are now has got to be much higher when the season starts and even much higher when the conference season starts. And so if they can understand that and, and not, not settle or give in to, okay, I'm going hard now, but to continue to push myself, then our experience become very, very important because of what they got from last year. Really solid non-conference that you also kind of talked about that. Are you happy with you know what you were able to put together in terms of schedule? I love it. I love it. I love the challenge. I love the uh, like we playing three ACC schools, which yeah. is which is great. You know, I'm not sure that ever happened uh, here before, but we playing three ACC schools. Try to get a couple more, but we went, unfortunately we couldn't get them. You know, I don't. My, my non-conference record has never been important to me. It's about the conference. You know, we're trying to win the conference. We're trying to compete for a conference championship. That's our goal. Absolutely. How you know far away are you think from where you want to be in terms of game number one? Uh, we're a ways away, but like I said, we have two scrimmage games. Until we play someone different, you won't know where we are and how far away we are. So uh, we'll get a little more uh, understanding of where we are after we play our two scrimmage games. You talked about some of the guys that are really performing well. Maybe who's a guy that's really rising up that's surprising you so far in camp? Well, Dwayne Rose has been a big surprise to me. Uh, when he came in uh, this summer to work out, and I knew his uncles well, and I recruited Derek out of high school when he was in Chicago. And so, uh, you know, he was, I was going to give him a scholarship no matter what just because of the relationship that we have. And you know, I figured if he went to, to Toledo out of high school, he had to be pretty good. And, but I was really surprised about how well he, I mean, how good he is as a basketball player. In terms of defense, you guys played almost exclusively zone last year, maybe mixing it up a little bit more this year? We're going to do all kinds of things. If we hadn't played the zone that we played last year, but maybe a couple of possessions in practice. You know, you watch this practice. We, we're not even really playing uh, the Syracuse zone really at all. We, we, we're doing some more things to kind of mix everything up to get the, uh, the tempo going. Uh, we gotta, we got to be, we're not big. we got two big guys hopefully coming here soon in December, but we're not big and we want to be, but we got to be active and we got to get to the gaps quick. We got to make people make extra passes. We got to rotate like crazy. And then once the ball is shot, all five guys got to go rebound the basketball. Coach, thanks for stopping by. We certainly look forward to catching up with you as the year goes on. Thank you very much. Well, thanks everyone for watching here throughout Media Day. We'll see you throughout the season, uh, both on the radio side and the TV side.